here's a analog module. My analog module setting is very simple. This is the analog input voltage and input and voltage output. For example, double, just double click. No program is required. So program. Channel enable, for example, I will use channel 0. Enable. Input range, I select 0 to 10 volts, for example. And the range is 0 to 16,000. So if 5 volts is applied, the value would be 8,000, just half. But you can select it in four types 0 to, to 16,000 or minus 8 to 8,000. And uh, precise scale the value or even first tile. Right, but in this case three and four is the same. But if the if this input is like this, they are different, right? And this one is a ten thousand times scaled up value, and this one is a percentile, right? But in this case, select the simple like this, right? And we have you know filter process and averaging, and blah blah blah. We have this is input module, and now we are going to have output. Output module, the same enable, I will set the same. Output module is like this. When you apply, when you apply digital value to 5,000 in some special area, then this, uh, I mean, this 5,000 corresponding analog value would be made to the real output channel. So if I put 5,000, then 5 volts is applied to the sensor, right? 6,000, six, six volt. So that's for analog stuff. And after that, finish. The same. For example, if I set this, if that, if you see in 6,000, six, uh, 10 volt is made, right? If I change this, the same, or this one, 1,000 times, and percentile. Well, for, example, for example, if, if in this case, 10,000 applied to 10 volts, 0 minus 10 volts. No, it means, wow, well, it gives you kind of 0 digit more, I mean, 0 digit, right? 14.0 uh, digit more, which means it's not, it's not 10,000, it's not 10,000 percent, but 100.0. Oh. So, it's a precisely, it can, actually there's no, uh, digit, uh, no digital, uh, digital. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really so matter. Yeah, right. When you put the object on the screen, to say, yeah, it's like a hundred percent. Yeah, it's like a, you know, it's, it's like a, for example, 9,500, which means 95 percent. It gives you more in the uh, resolution, right? Okay, right. So after this, that's that's all for analog setting. And the next question. Input is very simple. Whatever happens in input, it does not affect the real output because input means monitoring. Okay? Output is important. Output means something to be changed by controlling or applying some values. Right? So uh, output is important. This one, in input is just a monitoring. So even analog input module, the value is of the, the value is the, I mean the value is updated. Even PLC mode is installed. Yeah, let's do that. Then the module is updated, but analog output is important. What if analog output is, you have to turn special output enable channel bit. After that, the output is made. Right? Kind of trigger, you need, you, you have, you have to, you have to turn on the trigger bits for output channel. That is. For example, now I put 5,000 after enabling some trigger bits, then 5 volt is applied, right? Now for the other channel, there is a 5 volt, correct? Then what if, what if the uh, PLC, is, uh, is the PLC mode is stopped, or some of the trigger bits is turned off? Does it hold 5 volt, or does it go to zero? You are able to decide here. Four value means when there's a, when there's some problem occurred in the PLC output channel enabling bit, it stays. 
the fourth critical value. Minimum value equals to zero when the trigger enable abilities goes wrong, right? Or maximum, or minimum, or in the middle. Usually, it stays. Anyway, let's go. And after this, and then, if you have this stuff, you will have this message automatically. But, I, but previously I said no, but I automatically, you know, uh, manually you have to install this file, this value. So you have use device, which means uh, universal. Well, let's do it. So I have this value and this value. So first of all, I want to read the values for the analog, for example. So uh, analog means analog, you don't need to, add, uh, for example. Nine. Always on and um, move data. Analog input module, channel zero output. Okay. The first channel, this is output value, digitalized value, two, B zero. Visualized as 0 to 10,000, correct? Right? Now it's a 0. You, 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 now the monitor value is 0, which means 0 volts, correct? Okay. So I will change this analog here. Analog input a channels. Start channel monitoring. This one is two. Change the voltage. Now five volt, right? Five volt. Then you see five thousand. We change that from ladder as well. Just by clicking. No, no. This is monitoring. Okay. So what I change here is this is PLC. PLC. And there is a kind of analog analog in the voltage applied to the channel. Okay. Let alone, I cannot change because it's the motion value. So you have to change this output value. So here, that is output. So I change, I apply the five volts to the here. That is changed. Okay. Right? So I change four, like four point four point one to three. Right? By this, you know this value. That's for analog input. Right? So let's say this is input, 5 volt is applied here. Then the value is 5,000. 5, right? So this 5,000 discharge value, I move it to some special address to make output, channel output to analog. Then 5 volt is made to the output. Which means I want to connect this digital to make the output. For the what if I say move this data analog output module as channel to input to make analog output you have to input some digital value. 
there is the space, there is a special area to make analog output for channel 0 in slot number 3. You understand this, correct? Because here the voltage is 4.1 to 3 volts applied, we see 4000 stuff, right? So, to make the output. Oh no. Doing more trying to see this. Okay. It's almost finished. Okay. Uh, and zero. Output enable. This bit. That's for the program. So, right? Put here, for example. I applied 5 volts, right? So here 5 volts is applied. And the value is 5,000. So I move it to the video. So which way? And also I, I, input, I, I, I just key in 5,000 value to some area to make analog output. 5 volts, right? Then the output should be 5 volts, right? But it's not it's not that way because this bit is not found on. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just sure. Sure. Well, it's it's okay, yeah, right? a bit of just showing customers what you can do. With yeah, it. right. Here, let's say channel three is zero, right? But if you turn this bit on, turn this bit on five volt. When you input four volt. The output is 4 output. So unless this bit is turned on, turned on, then it stays formal value. It, with, it stays. So I change this value. 6. Stay 4. Because I said it's formal value. Mm -hmm. Right? That's it. So if I turn this bit on, 6 volt. Right? Turn this bit on, I'll put it properly applied to 6 volt. Right? That's for analog. So, so the center you're trying to calibrate, you can actually force mid scale. With 0 to 10 volts, you can force 5 volts on it. Yes. And you yep. know that it has to be mid. Absolutely. Plus, if you're, just, if you're doing simulation, 